I'm still trying to decide if I'm actually going to film in this backdrop just because the lighting is slightly off because the window's on this side and I just want you guys to have like the best lighting but I really like this background. Let's work with this background today, but definitely comment and let me know if the lighting was an issue. I am getting a brand new camera, so I'm going to be upping that quality for you guys. I know it's been requested and I hear you and I fully agree with you. I did get back from Houston and I thought that I would sit down and actually do this ginormous haul and show you everything that I got while in Houston. So all of this is from there, nothing from Dallas. There's actually a lot that you guys haven't seen. So let's go ahead and get started. There are multiple stores in here. We're gonna do Five Below, TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree, Home Goods, Marshalls, and the 99 cent only store. And first up, let's start with Five Below. If you don't know, I've been on a massive hunt for these Bluetooth typewriter keyboards at Five Below. For $10, that is an amazing price. They usually run anywhere between $50 to $90, if not more. So to find it for $10 would be such a steal. Have not scored it yet, um, but I went to multiple Five Belows while I was in Houston. I think I went to like three different ones and I did not find the keyboard, but this is what I did walk away with. I found this little ultrasonic face steamer. Uh, it purifies, hydrates, and moisturizes. Nano atoma atomizer, I'm not even saying that right. Cool mist, rechargeable battery. This is really cool. I also like the concept that I feel like it's small enough to travel with. So definitely going to include this in my travel and in my skincare routine. I've really been trying to up my skincare game and I've never used a face steamer before, but I know it'll probably be really good for my pores. So we're gonna give that a go. Then I did pick up these bows for Micah. She really loves like the bow aesthetic and these little black ones are so cute. And they come with this like little alligator clip in there. So in a set of two. Then I picked up some Advil. I actually had a headache the day that I got this and then I completely forgot that I got this and I guess I forgot about my headache. But it's a travel size, so it'll be something that I throw in my travel bag. Um, then I picked up this little Monopoly like mini game for $5. You already know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna junk journal with this, it's so cute. Um, and it shows you like all the little pieces that come in the set, but it's also a keychain, which I don't know, that's kind of a really cool concept. I don't know the need to like keychain to my car keys of a game, but maybe like to a backpack or anything traveling. This is really cute. They had other games as well, but I already own them. Like I think they had Shoots and ladders? I don't even remember. I have them. I just didn't think that I had Monopoly, but anyways. Then I needed some chapstick. I have been looking for it at my Dollar Trees and for some reason I was not able to find them. Now Dollar Tree does sell Vaseline, but they sell one for $1.25. And this you get five for $5. So it ended up being, what, $1.25 cheaper if that makes sense. Had I bought five individually at Dollar Tree, this still was cheaper, so that's why I grabbed it. And you get all of these. Um, the cocoa butter, the aloe vera, and then these two are the same. They're the rosy lips, and then you've got the original. I actually really love the rosy lips. It really does give just the nicest little color to your lips that makes it look natural. So, um, and then, the last things from Five Below, I did get these cards. Now, if you're anything like me and you love a deck of cards, playing cards for junk journaling, or I don't know, you're just a collector of sorts, just know that Five Below actually comes out with new ones quite often. So we've got the Old Maid, and I would say a couple months ago, there was a different version of Old Maid. And then we've got Go Fish, same thing, and then Slapjack, I already got Crazy 8s, but it was in a previous Five Below haul. Um, but they also have Crazy 8s, basically. 
um, but I got that one here at home. These are the ones from Houston. Now let's get into the 99 cent only store. I don't even remember the last time I went to the store here at home in Dallas. It has been years. I definitely didn't go while I was in Florida. Not from my memory, I don't think I did. Um, so I was actually like, I feel like I need to start going again. Um, this store, this trip definitely made me feel the need to do that. Okay, so I picked up these treat boxes. They're actually really adorable. Anyways, these are so beautiful. I love them and I junk journal with them. So there's that. Then I picked up several Valentine's Day items because I thought they were just so cute. These are Valentine's Day like conversation hearts banners. Now these were 99 cents and they do have, as you can see, multiple colors. So I absolutely love that, of course, for decorating. I'm personally going to use it for junk journaling because it is like a paper cardstock quality. So for me, I treat that as ephemera. So there's that. Then I picked up this little sticker booklet. This was also 99 cents. Um, I'm saying that because not everything is actually 99 cents as they would like to claim. How they personally haven't been sued over the name of their store, I don't even know because it's not only 99 cents. Okay, then we have this cute little book with the dinosaurs. There's the price right there. You get 80 count and you know, I'm a sticker girl. Like I feel like if I had to just pick one thing to collect, well, <laughs> mugs, but like stickers and mugs, okay? Like let's just give me two options. Um, and then I did find the Encanto coloring book. I was actually trying to find this at Dollar Tree before Christmas because Micah wanted the this coloring book. But I ended up finding it in Houston at the 99 cent only store. So I grabbed it. Then I found this, which I thought was very exciting. There's nothing more exciting to me than finding puzzle books and even with themes. So this is a true crime word find, which is so cool. Cause you know, there's a million word finds, but having a theme to it, that's, that makes it even better. It makes it just more exciting and it, you know, so got that. Um, then I did pick up these lip balms. If you saw my shop with me, I wasn't really quite sure what I was looking at, but these are actually lip balms. I found them in these two um, options and you can also clip it. Like, what is this, like a pager? I could talk about my pager in the 90s for like 20 minutes. I'm tell when I tell you I never felt like a batter in my life when I wore that pager and I had the clear cover by the way. I, I thought I was everything. I wasn't, but I thought it. The next item that I thought was a complete score at the 99 cent only store were these 2D erasers very much giving Valentine's Day. I did not find it, however, in the Valentine's Day section. It was just like the, you know, school accessories aisle. Um, but even though they're erasers, they are 2D and I bet these would be really cute to style in a tear tray. So I got them from a decor perspective. These next items, I feel like it's giving me some type of like tiny little purpose while also feeling very nostalgic. But when I saw those erasers, I also found these. Now, I don't know why, but cutesy stuff like this is truly just up my alley. I think they are so adorable. I don't know, they just make me happy when I see things like this. And I said it in the video, but this is exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm going to get like a pencil container. I'm gonna get one from Dollar Tree. You'll see it in my next video. I'm also gonna try to pick up some erasers from Dollar Tree. And my goal is to be is to fill up this little pencil case with erasers and then I'm gonna ship that off to my niece where she now lives in Canada. So, and the only reason why I'm doing this is because I collected erasers when I was a kid and it was such a core memory for me. I actually don't remember very much from my childhood, but let me tell you, I remember those erasers. I remember that. And so, I don't know, I just thought maybe my niece would like that too and it's just kinda like fun, you know. To do that. So that's my goal. I'm gonna be on the hunt for 
some more erasers and I will put it together and share it with you guys, probably through a Dollar Tree haul. I'm feeling like the Dollar Tree section of this video could be pretty long, so I hope you're kind of wanting maybe a longer, cozier video, but I will still try to go through them, you know, quickly, I guess. So there's just a lot. I did pick up these exfoliating facial mists. These are gonna go in my bathroom, but just take note that they're pink. So those could be a great pickup for Valentine's Day. I picked up some envelopes because I left a junk journal with these. You can age them, antique them. They're just great. Picked up these scissors. These are my favorite. The ones that have like this different color shading on the inside. These are top quality compared to the other scissors that I've used from Dollar Tree. These are unmatched. My personal recommendation. Okay. Um, then I did find this Italia. Uh, deluxe diamond shine lip gloss. I also found this in a different color So this you would not have seen I don't think in my videos There's quite a lot that you guys didn't actually see make it into my cart like these as well these little um, These are just list pads, but you can tear them. So they do have the tear factor there um, Yeah, so you could definitely work with this from bullet journaling or just any kind of journaling junk journaling as well so there's that bag and this bag i did get these heart glitter stickers these have been around forever and i continue to hope that they will continue to show up because they're just that good to me i did pick up the little travel containers i needed this little guy right here this mister now i did buy some misters from amazon um so i do want to compare it to this so we'll, we'll see. We're definitely going to have to see the quality there. Um, but yeah, so then we've got these little options as well that I think I'm going to fill up with. I think I need face wash. That's something I've noticed I don't have in my travel is the face, face wash that I use. So I've been relying on just like the bar of soaps at the hotel. Okay, then I did finally at this Dollar Tree find this lip balm. So I got that. I've just been on a lip balm thing. I don't know. I think this winter is like severely drying me out. It's, it has done damage to my skin and I'm trying to reverse that now. Then I found this drain refresher tablets. This is a rare find at Dollar Tree. They rarely do items like this. So this is new, left me shook. Um, then you saw that I picked this up and in that video I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can work with this like jelly like substance in junk journaling I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how to like pull that off. I think I have an idea um, And then of course all of my cards. So I'll just show you guys the ones that are here the cute little Unicorn these again are all for junk journaling. These are just so inexpensive and great especially if You know you get stuck creative wise and you don't know what color palettes get yourself a card and work around it easiest thing to do um, The robot I, I love this robot. This robot has come out several years now and then this little purple dinosaur as well um, so That's that bag. Okay then let's grab this one. I did pick up the Care Bears coloring book. I love to color. It's just something that I honestly do alone time, downtime. It's just my thing. Sometimes I like adult coloring books and sometimes I like children's. It just depends on what method I want to use. If I'm in the mood for markers and crayons, I do children's. If I'm in the mood for color pencils, I do adult coloring book. That's ultimately how I decide. I got the heart doilies, love those. And then I got this little five card, very cute. This is like, I wanna do a whole spread in my junk journal with these colors right here, gorgeous. And then of course I had to get more of these Bumblebee uh, Valentine's Day cards. They are so freaking cute. I've shown you guys how I've used them in my junk journals. They're amazing. Also, I have a few of my Valentine's Day kits left. I have some of them already pre-packaged and ready to go to a good home. So if you want to score my brand new love kits, 
I'm gonna link them down below in my Etsy shop, but they're almost sold out and I'm moving on to St. Patrick's Day. So if you wanna get your hands on these, this is kind of like the last call. I know you guys saw these while I was in Houston cause I panned the camera to them, but they actually made it into my cart because I couldn't believe it. But they are these stuffed marshmallows. I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand how this is gonna be good, but I had to just bring it home because I wanted, I don't even know. I really don't even know. But this one is a classic milk chocolate stuffed marshmallow. Definitely wanna throw these obviously in some hot chocolate. I also found the salted caramel. And I also found Oreo cookies and cream. What? And I'm sure you could also bake with them as well. I've seen a lot of people do like the baked oven s'mores effect. These might be really interesting to try there. So just letting y'all know that's a Dollar Tree. I don't believe it's a Dollar Tree brand. So that means once it sells out, it sells out and we may not see a restock. Moving on, I did get these two items. When I looked closely, I thought that the little pieces would be great to junk journal with. So I had to get that. These have little bumblebees. Just looks so adorable. Um, okay, then I picked up my favorite toothbrushes. These are harder to find now, but also they're like 98 cents at Walmart versus $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So keep that in mind. Um, then I did pick up more cards. We've got this one, which is just stunning. It's beautiful to junk journal with. Also to just send to somebody. And then I did get the coffee and the lattes with little hearts. Very adorable. Um, and then I picked up the red doily and then the flash cards. I, it didn't look like it on camera, but I, I was actually pretty, pretty shook by this find just because I feel like Sometimes the number flashcards aren't as great as I would like for them to be. And these are amazing. They're simple. There's nothing to them. There's just, but there's bold color and a border. So these are so exciting. Very excited. Then I found like the animals, which I thought the animals were super darling as well. So, and it is by Crayola. Of course, these are great for homeschooling and learning. Um, they're also great for junk journaling. Now this item, I don't even know. First of all, they all the packages were torn. It was like somebody was trying to get into them and they tore through all of them. I don't really know. Um, it is a scalp cover. Full disclosure. The secret to fuller looking hair, full disclosure scalp concealing palettes covers bald spots and thinning, thinning hair. Apply directly onto the scalp. The camouflaging cream conceals sparse thinning hair and bald spots while the powder helps set tint into place. So there's like a two step, sorry. I don't know why my camera was just going in and out like that. I'm really sorry, but it's like a two step process essentially to it. Okay, so you've got the, guessing that this goes on first and then you set the powder on. So I did get this cute little date night book. I just thought that I could maybe deconstruct it and use it for junk journaling like you already know. Um, and then I picked up these decor sheets. These also I treat as ephemera. And then I also found the passport, which I saw online. I finally found it, but we all know that what shook me the most was that I found the composition notebooks. I'm a composition girl, lover, collector, however you wanna say it. I even designed my own for you guys on Amazon, linked below. But when I found out that they had the ephemera style of it, it's just paper. They have they have some that are like thicker, like this is a thicker cardstock, this is like a paper, but with the paper ones, you get more quantity. So I'm really happy that I get 36 in here versus 10, okay? But look at that. I'm gonna junk journal my little heart out. And then of course, I got all of the handmade cards. Now, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I think I saw it while I was just like, glancing 
at the display in a different store in Houston because I had already bought these, but I hadn't looked at my receipt. I think these are ringing up a dollar instead of a dollar twenty-five. Now I do know that the regular cards at Dollar Tree are usually like two for a dollar. Um, maybe the and the larger ones are a dollar if that makes sense. But the handmade cards that have their own display, they're wrapped in this plastic. These used to ring up a dollar twenty-five, but I think they ring up a dollar. I don't know. Somebody tell me what you're finding at your store. I don't know. Maybe these have always rang up a dollar for you guys, but I feel pretty positive they used to ring up a dollar twenty-five for me. I got two of the popcorn ones because nothing's cuter than this. This and the little truck. That's just precious. Then we've got the latte or whatever that is. And a little jar of conversation hearts. Dollar Tree did amazing this year on those. Then I did get hand sanitizer. I actually got this for myself while I was there because I just kind of felt like I needed it. I'm not a hand sanitizer girl. I'm not. I'm a soap and water girl. Something about this makes it feel like there's residue left or like I'm putting chemicals on my skin and I'm just not a fan of that. But I also know that sometimes I just need to like feel like there's not a bacteria on my hands. So I grabbed that. Okay, then I did pick up this little, oops, baseball and like golf, football, soccer, a little, yeah, just a little sports theme sticker set. I did pick up these little uh, plates. These would be really cute just to put in your bathroom and put your jewelry on or like your nightstand, you know? Those are great. Um, I did find this mascara. Very much has the, you know, Valentine's Day palette going on. And then I did get this Clorox close pins with no slip grip. I just thought that was amazing for $1.25. I'm definitely going to just like throw these in my laundry just to have. And then I also found these bubble stickers with the space theme super cute um and then i also got the exfoliating bath cloth very much into exfoliating exfoliating more now i'm following someone on tiktok called christina with no h and she's revolutionized how i how i see things especially because she also breaks it down by age and it's just so nice for me to know now that i'm in my 40s how i should be handling my skin in my 40s so you know anyways uh, then I found this little sticker pad. Love how cute these are. These, this little first sheet, super cushiony. I love that. And then, yeah, just, you know, the D stash I could actually do on my stickers would be insane. Then I found these little card sets. These are brand new, so run to get these. Dollar Tree has a older version and these are the brand new drops so we get a new version of old maid a new version of memory and hearts and it also shows you like just a glimpse into each card set and what they look like what and then we've got shapes and colors one two threes and build a word so and then the this is what those cards look like absolutely precious these look like yeah you've got to pair two of them together you know i'm going back for those right okay in the last bag from dollar tree which is just completely full um this was like my restock i think i got these makeup cloths obsessed um then i got the bolero body oil and vanilla bean and honey i'm gonna use these for traveling so those i'm gonna throw my travel um, then I got these, this razor set. I've already talked about it, reviewed it when I did my Dollar Tree 2023 best of favorites video. If you want to watch that, I'll link it down below. Go see where this landed in my numbering system. Um, then I found this, like I was not going to walk away from Houston without this. I was going to travel with this big bag of carpet freshener, this luxury. You sprinkle it, leave it on for five minutes, and then you vacuum it off. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree, so I was excited about that. I had to just restock my favorite eyebrow pencil, 
literally wearing it now. I get the color dark brown. Um, and then I picked up this seven day pill organizer. I desperately need this for traveling um, with taking all of my pills. I actually did a sponsorship with Ritual because I take all of my vitamins with me and I'm like, I don't have a pill organizer. I need to do that. Also, I spilled a bunch of my ritual pills or my my multivitamin my 18 and plus women's i spilt it in the first hotel when i was trying to get my clips and i lost half my bottle wouldn't have done that had i had this i spilt them on the bathroom floor like you know not gonna put those back in the bottle you know what i'm saying so anyways actually if you watch that video you see that the in one clip the bottle is full and then in the next clip there's like half that's what happened i spilt them everywhere so i'm gonna need this okay next up here is the italia deluxe diamond shine lip gloss in the red color so these look so pretty it's uh, the packaging is kind of giving me cheap vibes like it might stain your lips but not in a great way but that's that's not a fair judgment you know until i guess i try it but it just kind of gives off that vibe um but i do want to try that and then i found this set from dollar tree and i feel like yes dollar tree we need more of this give us some bath and body works dupes please like like this okay so this is this everlasting love i don't know if it's giving bath and body works or if it's giving victoria's secret you know what I mean? The packaging. I think it's giving Victoria's Secret and oh my God, I just smelled that for the first time and that's amazing. I do. I have an obsession with Dollar Tree. I'm not a professional, you guys. I'm not. So I just get really excited. I have to just throw stuff in the cart and sometimes I don't really like think much beyond that until I get it home and then like I test it and stuff. This is one of those examples. This smells amazing. I didn't smell at the time. I just knew I wanted it. I was rolling the dice and then we've got the body lotion then i picked up these hair serums so this is by the brand be pure and they're killing it they're killing it at dollar tree we know they are uh this one is an anti-frizz and this one is a curl defining also peep the size perfect for traveling that's what i'm gonna do with these babies i'm very excited i don't know there's been something about just having these little products with me while i'm traveling that just does it for me then I found the Nickelodeon Rugrats lip gloss. The Tommy, all I found was Tommy. I don't know if there's Angelica or any of the other little guys. The fact that I even remember their names, I don't even know, but look what I found. Now let's get into Marshalls. So I popped in and I found these New Balance insulated joggers. They're actually in the men's section. So I ended up getting like a size medium, I think, or small, a small in the men's, but New Balance, yeah, I absolutely love it. I love the logo on the side. I love the logo right here, and it's just insulated heavily. February is usually Dallas's coldest or Texas coldest month, so I know I'm going to be pulling for those, and then I am going to be doing an a little update or maybe big update i don't really know how to say it but we need to do some some little changes in my living room um i'm going to be working on the end tables the coffee table the sofa table and even the rug so stay tuned for that and i found this table book italy it's a gorgeous coffee table it was $29.99 which is actually a very good price compared to some of the ones I've seen there's actually a horse one that I want really bad until I found out it was like $500 yeah we won't be getting that um not unless I find it like somewhere else but I'm Italian and I just thought this would be a perfect nod to my home country i guess you could say um all right so oh let me show you one other thing that i got micah because it was so funny but super cute as well she loves the movie scream and i found this hoodie and it says call me i wouldn't 
I wouldn't call him personally if I were you. I actually have something similar-ish in my Etsy shop, by the way, which is so cute. And actually, you guys buy a lot of it. Um, my little uh, Call Me Never shirt. I have mine in pink. But anyway, so I got that from Micah. And now uh, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Um, I've got some travel things. I got this vitamin C serum just to travel with, but I think this might be too big, is it? Two fluid ounces? What's the what's the traveling minimum for planes? Um, but this was $5.99, this vitamin C serum. I thought I'd try it. Um, I've never really cared about any beauty stuff in like a Home Goods or a TJ Maxx. For me, it's always looked very daunting and overwhelming and kind of like expired. But I've been watching TikToks so that's kind of like making me see it in a different way. So then I got this Honey Butter Lip Mask. You clearly see a theme on my lip balms, lip masks. My lips are just going through it this winter. So I'm very excited to like try this out. So let me just see what this packaging just looks like. Gorgeous. Not that that's what should matter, but you know, it makes it cute. So love that there's a little lid on there. And then I got this Biotin Premium Hair Oil. Not only am I trying to fix my skin, I'm trying to fix this hair. I don't know. I feel like it's gone through it. I don't, I don't really know. But I'm starting to just see some improvement. Because I've been consistent with my bamboo brush. I've been consistent with my rosemary hair oil. I've been consistent with putting oils at the ends and just trying to treat it better. We're gonna give this guy a go because I've been using Biotin nail polish and I've seen a huge change in my nails. Um, I got mine from Amazon, I'll link it down below, just FYI. But this Biotin hair oil, $3.99, I definitely want to like see where this takes me. I got that. And now we're gonna end today's video with the best best of the best and that's mugs if you didn't know it was mugs um okay lang is my favorite mug designer kind of like a ray dunn but this is lang and lang is so good so good this this is what it looks like Look at this little lemon mug. Five nine nine. Was I supposed to? I wasn't supposed to. It was supposed to go in my cart. Um, I'm gonna be switching out from Valentine's Day come March first to spring and Easter. She's gonna show up in that transition, so stay tuned for that. If you missed my Christmas to Valentine's Day transition, I'll link that video down below. So it was laying. Had, had to get it. Now that I like know that this is a designer I love, yeah. Here is another Lang design. And you might kind of see the similarity because I have a version of this in Valentine's Day, Halloween, and Christmas, all by Lang. He does these like lines and then like some type of, you know, additional layer on top. Okay, this was $5.99 as well. And um I don't know. I is that oh another link. But look how cute this peep is. And bright yellow at that $5.99. Like look how pretty these are going to be stacked together. Like I'm just, I'm living for it, living for it. The last mug, I don't know why, but when I look at it, I fall in love. I, no one knows, no one, I don't even understand me. $4.99 for the fish. I don't think this is laying, but that's a huge, that like, I don't know, that's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love how whimsical and it's not perfectly shaped. You know, I don't, I don't even know. Just something about this mug. 
I just thought that is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen in my life and I had to get it. And that is today's Houston haul. I hope you guys enjoyed all the videos this past week from me doing traveling and being and going to Houston and going to stores. Let me know if you definitely wanna see that. I have another travel um, coming up, but this time it's not a drive. Like Houston's obviously very close, drove to it, but I will be getting on a plane soon. And I would like to maybe start visiting other Dollar Trees in other states. I thought that that could be something that you guys might enjoy. So if it is, comment down below and definitely let me know. Also, let me know what from Dollar Tree that you saw today that you are on the hunt for. But like I mentioned, um, I'll link everything that I said down below if you want these. Again, last call and that's it. Thank you guys so much for just watching me, for supporting me, for everyone who's almost sold me out on this kit. Thank you so much for ordering from me. Um, I hope you're loving your kits. And I will be going to Junk Journaling Live on Sundays again soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.